put Michael through some unbearable suffering. Michael is still sorting his way through what's real and what's a lie. This is not the time to take him away from some place he feels safe, especially if he doesn't want to go, Carly. He will. Once I explain, it's the only way to keep Sonny out of prison. Okay, so I'm, I'm asking you not to do this. I'm sorry, Jason. I can't give you what you want. I guess I missed something. I thought you supported Carly's plan to leave the country. Michael doesn't want to go. I mean, this kid has been dragged everywhere. Isn't it time Michael's wishes counted for something? Oh, my God, what timing. Michael. It's a wonder, isn't it? Oh, I'm so, I'm so glad you're okay. We were worried about you. Well, I guess I can save us the next few steps. We know what Jason's going to say, that A.J. was a despicable, miserable human being who deserved to die. Alan! Will you stop it right now, or I will whip you? You do not right need to throat. listen to Alan, okay? He doesn't know what he's talking about. I understand all too well. I'm not going to sit here and just watch you pour poison into this little boy's head while you anoint Saint Sonny. Sonny Corinthos was nothing more than a common criminal, and he killed your father and he killed my son. My dad did not kill AJ. The paper said dad killed AJ, but he didn't. Did you remember something? Mom was talking to Reese. Was, was that before AJ was killed? She said he had to be stopped. He kidnapped Morgan and Christina because of me. I tried to protect them, and I didn't. Okay, okay your mom didn't mean that the kidnappings were your fault, buddy. I didn't want my little brother and sister to get hurt again. So I went to his room to tell them to leave them alone. What, what did you see when you got there? It was dark. He was in bed. There was a pillow on the floor. I picked it up and AJ opened his eyes. What, did he say anything? He started to, but I didn't want to listen. AJ always lied and said stuff that made me sick to my stomach. So I just put the pillow over his face to make it quiet. I pulled the pillow off his face and he wasn't breathing. I was scared. I dropped the pillow, hid so I could figure out what to do next. Mom came in. She picked up the pillow, but she didn't do it. It was me. Bad heart and I. Michael, killing is bad, but you're not. I killed AJ. You weren't thinking like yourself. Now listen to me. You remember? You remember when you, you fell and you sprained your wrist? You yeah. couldn't you couldn't grab things or hold things, and your wrist wasn't working the way it normally does. Didn't like it. Okay. That can happen to your mind if you're really scared, if you've been hurt a lot, if you've been lied to so much you can't tell what's real and what isn't. All of those things happened to you. So, in a way, it was like your mind got sprained just like your wrist. And that night in AJ's room, your mind was, wasn't working like it normally does. When, when you put that pillow on AJ's face, you didn't understand what was going on because of all the things that AJ had done to you. You were confused. You didn't kill him on purpose. You were mixed up. What about that? He's in jail for killing AJ when he okay. didn't even do it. Okay, listen to me. Sonny's going to take care of that. How? Well, he gets to decide how. You don't have to worry about that. You just got to trust him. Take me to the police station now, please. Carly, he wanted to come. Okay, no, Michael, I need you need to, to go home. Oh, Carly, Carly. Michael, Carly. Take him to his father. Doesn't it? 